how to create a website with free domain names and free hosting for affiliate marketing. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can create your website for affiliate marketing and how you can create all of these beautiful and gorgeous websites without having to purchase any kind of domain names or without having to pay for any web hosting. So let's get into it. First off, we're on Wix.com and I'm going to show you guys two ways you can primarily do this. First off is by Wix and the second way is by a combination of WordPress and GoDaddy. So going on to Wix, I'm just over here on their main page. I'm going to click on start now. Now you can choose to sign up over here and here you're just going to enter your personal details. I'm going to continue with my Google account. You can also continue with Facebook as well. So I'm just going to continue with my Google account. And the good thing about Wix is that it allows you to create multiple websites on a singular account. And I find that very useful, especially in terms of affiliate marketing, where you're really looking to target your audience specifically. And you want to make each person feel like this website was specially created for the link that they clicked on. Now, over here, you can see I have a couple of old websites, but I'm going to click on create new site on the top right. And this is going to be your dashboard, regardless of if you created a new account or an old account on the top. If you click on your picture, you're going to have your account settings, your domains, mailboxes, vouchers, billing history, premium subscriptions, payment methods. And then you also have a help center and professional hiring. So I'm just going to click on create new site. And now you can choose to answer a few questions or if you take a look at the bottom right, you can skip these. I would suggest that if you're just starting out, you search for affiliate and you can see affiliate marketing portfolio. So I'm going to click on affiliate marketing portfolio and I'm going to click on next. Now you can go with two ways. You can let the Wix ADI create a website for you, which I think is a great option as well, or you can choose to edit with a template and get started with a template and start editing from there. Now, I would suggest that if your main focus is not your website, if this is just a side hustle, let Wix do all the groundwork for you. But if this is something you're really focusing on, you're doing day and night, then I would suggest that you opt to edit a template so you can customize it according to your own personal preferences. But if you let the ADI do it, you can also customize it and it will save you a lot more time. But for today, we're going to edit a template. Now you can see there are quite a few templates that you can choose from. Wix provides you with over 45 pages of just affiliate templates and these are going to reduce the groundwork by a lot. I wouldn't suggest ever to start off with a blank template on Wix because that can be very overwhelming and you're going to have a difficult time getting started. So just browse through all of these templates and see which one you feel like suits your affiliate best. Whatever industry that you are working in, if it's fashion and design, make sure you have a um, template that focuses on fashion and design. If it's marketing, make sure it's a template that is more suited for marketing. If it's a affiliate link for jewelry, make sure your website is fitting for jewelry. Now, I am going to go for this template because it looks quite different and I think it would look good with a affiliate marketing link. Now you can see over here, I have my template loaded and to simplify your editing process, I'm going to go through all of the editing options here on Wix. So you're, you're not stuck with a singular option. Now, if you take a look at your left, there are some very self-explanatory tabs. So starting off, you have add. So if you want to add any section to your website, if I want to add sign up now, sign up for our newsletter, I'm going to click on add and add a section for that. Below that, you have your menus and pages. Obviously, your website is not going to be a one page landing website. If you choose to create more pages within your website, like a about us page or a contact us page, you can do that as well. After that, you have your theme manager. This is going to apply a similar theme throughout your entire website, and it's going to make sure all of your fonts and colors look cohesive. After that, you have your background where you can change your background images, choose a solid color. Then you have your ad apps. These are basically integrations. Below that, you have your media, any media you want to add. Then you have start blogging and some async business tools. 
Now you can see over here, I am going to just click on the text over here and let's say the best vitamin water. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this tiny text or actually I'm going to move it for now. Maybe later on I might want to add it again. I'm going to recenter my text within these little circular backgrounds. Uh, then I'm going to move this text as well. I'm going to make sure it's centered and to know if your text is centered, just click on your text, drag it a bit. And if you see this purple line, this is going to help you indicate if your text is centered. Now, once you have done that, I'm just going to change the name, the subtext over here as well. I'm going to do that. I'm going to add like a tagline as well. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this text button. And this button should say the best vitamin water like this. And this button is going to link to this home page. I'm going to move the placement of this button. I'm going to unpin it. And then I'm going to move it here. And then I'm going to attach it to the header. And now I can't really move it away from the header. Now, after that, obviously, you're going to add your own email marketing section. You can choose to delete their entire sections as well, or you can edit them to fit your narrative. Now, if I click on this entire section, I'm going to add a strip in between and I'm going to do a right click. Then I'm going to click on delete. And this helps me just cut out anything I don't need. So I'm just going to click on delete. Now I'm going to remove this section as well. I'm just going to click on delete because if you're doing an affiliate link, you probably don't want a massive amount of info dump on your home page you want to keep it simple and neat just keep on deleting as per your needs now you have your contact and your uh, general information tabs at the bottom and then you can subscribe over here but what i'm going to do is i'm going to move back up i'm going to click on add strip here i am going to go with interactive you're going to click on interactive and then within interactive you're going to add your light boxes and light boxes are where you get people to sign up where you can welcome them you can thank them for signing up and all of that stuff so let's take a look at the subscription light boxes and let's see this looks pretty decent it looks very professional I'm just going to add this. Now, once I have added my little light box, I'm going to change the information that is present within the light box. So you're going to write whatever text that is for your affiliate or related to your affiliate. Just going to click on add text. I'm going to add a tiny heading text. And then I'm going to start adding. And obviously, you're going to edit the image as well, like so. I'm going to add my text first. I'm going to make sure it's centered to the text below. I'm going to click on edit text, donate or join our Kickstarter campaign like this. So you can do that as well. And then I'm going to add an image. I'm going to use some free Wix images. I'm going to search for bottle. I'm going to search for water bottle. And I'm going to add this image of this healthy looking person. I click on add to page. I'm going to click on crop and crop this empty section of the image. And now after you have set up all of that and added your light box for your subscription or whatever affiliate link that you're running, you're just going to click on publish over here. And now you can view your site. Now let's click on view site. And you can see this is what the site looks like currently. Now, for your affiliate link over here that you're going to place as your URL, you can see that if you want to change your URL, you're going to go to GoDaddy and select a domain name. So GoDaddy is very popular for their domain names. They also have a website builder, but it's not as good as Wix. So that's why I would suggest just buying your domain name. So let's just say the best vitamin water. I'm going to search for this domain. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Wix settings and I'm going to go into my site settings. And you can see there are quite a few different 
um, domain names available here on GoDaddy. Usually they give you a yearly discount and after that you have to pay for full price. Just choose whatever one that suits you best and that's going to give you a good amount of clicks as well because if you have an odd affiliate link then people are not going to choose to click it but once you do purchase it you're just going to go on to your wix dashboard and you're going to add that as your custom domain name so if you go on to your wix dashboard over here which is taking quite a while today you're just going to go to your basic dashboard and then you can click on connect to your own domain and then you can buy a domain from wix as well or you can connect to a domain that you already own and that is how you're going to get your customized affiliate link i hope you guys found this video helpful and i will catch you guys in the next video